Hello friends, welcome to another video of Code Legend. In this video, we will try to understand what exactly are extension methods in c .net. So these are the topics which we are going to cover. So we will try to understand the extension methods in detail. And then we will see a small demo wherein we can use extension methods in the real time scenario. So what exactly are extension methods? As per Microsoft, they have defined it saying enable you to add methods to existing types without creating a new derived type recompiling or otherwise modifying the original type. So that means if at all you have a type that means any class which is existing in your library or any other library which you have imported and you want to extend it by adding a method and but you don't have the access to the code or you don't want to recompile that class then extension method comes into help. So how we'll be using it? For example, on the right side, you can see, suppose some class is a class which you are going to uh, use it. Maybe it is your own class or some it is coming from some other library. Whereas in some other class, you want to use this class instance and you want to add some extra methods into this class, but you don't have access to this class or you don't want to recompile it. Then in that case, you can create another class, any name, uh, but it should be a static class inside which there should be a static method and you can use the first parameter of this class type with a keyword this. So the, these three points you have to keep in mind. First one, the class which you are going to define should be a static class. Second thing, uh, the method which you are going to define in that class should be static. Third, the first parameter should be the class which you want to extend and the keyword this in front of that parameter. So you can have multiple parameters after this, but the first parameter should be mandatorily the class which you want to extend it. So I hope the syntax is clear. Maybe we can uh, have a look into the code wherein I can explain you in which scenario this will be very helpful. So I am in Visual Studio. So this is a console application. I have a main method here. I will create one more uh, project now for showing you the demo of like some external library. So I'll create a class library and maybe I'll name it as employee DB. So this is some other third party library which you will be using in your uh, code. So let's create this. I will rename this class to maybe employee employee class and in this class let's have some properties so first one is int type which is employee id and maybe one more property of string which is like uh, employee name and maybe one more property uh, maybe of type double which can be basic salary so i will generate a constructor for this uh, maybe a parameter constructor a parameterized constructor so that i can take the emp id and e name and the basic salary from the user so it will be double salary so inside I will assign these value to the properties. So maybe employee ID equal to EMP ID, employee name equal to uh, E name and uh, basic salary equal to salary. So this is my class and maybe I will have one method so that I can just show you like uh, we can have regular methods as well apart from the extension methods so i will have a public void uh, maybe like print employee details so in this we just have to print so maybe like i will have a console.write line i will print the employee number which is nothing but our employee id and uh, maybe one more console.write line 
which will print the name emp name and this will be the employee name so now this class is ready so this class as you know is of type class library so when i build this class it gives me an output of employee db dot dll so i'll just go to the path where it has created the dll so i will just say open folder file explorer i have a bin folder and the debug so here you can see employee db dot dll has been created now imagine this is a third party library which you have got from somewhere and now we'll go to uh, our program so this is my console application where i'll be using that dll so for that what we normally do is under the reference we'll go to add reference and say browse and we'll just go to that path and select this dll so now you can imagine this dll as like a third party library which someone has given you and we can use that here by using the namespace so when i say using and i can see employee db has come so this is the namespace which we have defined there so after adding the employee db dll reference here i can use the employee db namespace and under which all the classes will be available so now when you type employee you can see this class comes from the employee db namespace so now if i create an employed class so maybe emp1 and uh, i'll instantiate it i'll have the employee number as maybe 1221 and some name maybe like thomas and salary maybe the basic salary for around 4000 so this is the instantiation now if i want i can just print employee one dot i can call the normal method which is available already print employee details so the moment i call this and if you run this you will see the details have been printed so this is how the normal functionality works but now if you have a scenario wherein you want to calculate uh, this using the basic salary and uh, you want to calculate the annual salary including other components but you don't have access to this library so one option is you can create another method here which will be passing all these data and uh, you can compute that otherwise the one which comes into help is extension methods wherein you can extend this class without modifying this class to have extra methods so for that what we need to do is i'll just add one more class uh, maybe in the real time scenarios when you are using these extension methods in the in your applications it's better to have a separate class called extensions uh, utility or any name which you prefer normally we will create as a utility class or helper classes so main thing is this class should be a uh, static so this is a static class inside which i can have a public static method so this returns me a void and uh, here i can uh, name it like calculate salary and the main thing comes here is the first parameter must have a this keyword and it should be of the type which i want to uh, extend it so i have to use employee db namespace so first i'll use here using employee db so that my employee class will be available here yeah so this is the employee class and some object so maybe emp obj some name for the object so now here from this object we will be getting the uh, basic salary so maybe i can take that value here so where basic is equal to employee object dot i can get my basic salary here so maybe after apart from that i can have where uh, or maybe i'll define it as double itself double hra which is around like uh, 2000 and maybe double some pf which is around 1000 so these things i'm just defining it here maybe this has some complicated logic to get it from the db or from any other third party libraries or whatever 
so here may be some complicated logic so and afterwards you will have to calculate the uh, salary so maybe i will have annual salary so for example i can say double annual salary is equal to it will be a sum of basic plus hra plus the pf and all these total multiplied by 12 months so this is my annual salary so anytime uh, i can print this or if i change this void to double i can return this so i will say return annual salary so this is how we can create an extension method so the moment you create this extension method with this uh, static class static method and this type and the employee uh, class type the moment you come back here and you see when you press emp1 dot you can see there is one more method which now is available called calculate salary which you can see it's an extension method whereas there is another print employee details so you can see this is a normal method so you can see the symbol difference here this is a normal box here it, you can see an arrow which normally says it's an extension method so now you have extended the employee method without modifying employee method uh, sorry employee class without modifying the employee class so anytime you can say uh, like console dot right line i will print here annual package is equal to and i can say emp1 dot calculate salary which returns a double value and i'm just printing it so I, when i run this you can see it gets calculated and comes so now the value is 84000 now now suppose if you want to extend this method so that it takes a bonus value also so here apart from this first parameter i can have another parameter called double and bonus so since bonus is a one time thing we will not uh, multiply it into 12 so i'll just add it to my annual salary and return it so whenever i'm calling this method i can pass what is the current bonus which is being given so maybe like four five thousand rupees so in that case when you run this you can see now the value has changed so this is how the extension method is helpful for uh, extending any existing classes uh, if at all you don't want to recompile those classes or it has been given by a third party library or whatever the scenario is you can always go with the extension method to extend this class to define your own method and make it part of this so you will be seeing lot of extension methods when you are dealing with link queue so the moment you use uh, the link queue namespace that is system dot link queue for all the classes which are of uh, list type like enumerable type you will see a lot of extension methods which is coming so that is achieved using this extension methods concept so i hope this is clear and next time when you code and you are you dealing with some classes don't forget to try out the extension methods uh, it will be very helpful for extending the functionalities in your code thank you